Hargrave. He is the CEO of Media Shower. It's a blockchain media company. He's the publisher of Bitcoin Market Journal, and he's author of the best-selling book, Blockchain for Everyone. And uh, today, Blockchain Goes Coco is the name of the presentation we're going to hear from him. So please, everybody, welcome with a very loud huzzah, Sir John Hargrave. Hello, good sir. Joe, Travis, <laughs> and everyone. <laughs> good to see you, our brother. A pleasure to be in your presence, good sir. Guys, what an amazing event you have put together. This is the greatest blockchain conference in history. And you, you guys have scooped Coinbase. You've scooped Consensus. You guys have made the event of the year. I scooped some ice cream, too. Uh, two scoops. <laughs> two scoops, of two course. Scoops. <clears throat> well, well, thank we you. Know That's really that... kind words, brother. Yeah. It's very impressive. And it just shows you how this time is like the great equalizer, isn't it? It is. And you don't got to be a super huge company to do it. I mean, here it is. Two, two dudes, a super awesome, amazing, super Wonder Woman uh, producer and a great, great team Aaron, like three other Aaron. people. And there we go. Yeah. The great Erin Sell, your producer, she's amazing. But yeah, the three of you working super hard over the last few weeks have made this amazing blockchain conference with a who's who of blockchain stars. In a what's what? In a, where, in a where's where? It's a where's here. Here, here, here. You've got a presentation for us today, right? I do. I, Coco, I'm gonna go, Loco. I have to go downstairs and get something. That's code for use the restroom. <laughs> Okay, brother, it's all you. <laughs> all right. Well, gentlemen, uh, my talk tonight is called uh, Blockchain Goes Coco. Blockchain Goes Coco. And uh, it starts with this game right here. My family and I are big uh, board game players. We love board games. It's one of our favorites. It's called Pandemic. Pandemic. And in this game, uh, you're working as a team of players who are all working together to save the world from a super virus. So it's not competitive, it's co-op. And each of the players at the beginning gets one of these cards. It's a roll card. And you get a special superpower. Like for example, this is the quarantine specialist. And uh, in this real life pandemic, we all have a role to play and that's communication specialist. So I run a media and communication company called Media Shower. And at the beginning of this outbreak, because I've played many, many pandemic games over the years, I saw how this was going and I said, well, how can we help as a media and communication company, Media Shower? So I started to read. And uh, this was a very helpful document. It was put out by the World Health Organization back in 2005. And it's best practices for communicating with the public during an outbreak. So this isn't our first pandemic. We've had SARS and avian flu and what have you. Uh, and as I read through this, I realized no one is doing this. No one is actually following the best practices for communicating during a pandemic. So I said, well, how can we help? What can we do as a media and communication company? Well, we had a big advantage. And the advantage was that we know blockchain. We understand how blockchain works. I'm gonna share my screen here. So in blockchain, of course, we are decentralized. So in the past, we had a very centralized way of communicating, right? We had a single authority figure, whether that was a news anchor or a president that everyone trusted, and they would communicate with the public at large. But that's not the way we communicate today. Now it's bottom up. So think of all the blogs and the social media feeds and all of the streaming channels that you subscribe to. So we communicate in a much more decentralized manner today, just like blockchain. So we said, well, how can we use these principles of decentralization to communicate about coronavirus? And the result was called Coco at coco.mediashower.com. 
And I will now explain to you how Coco works. Oh, ukulele. Hit it. During a pandemic, it's important to communicate in a way that's helpful and truthful. It's something all of us can do. That's why we developed COCO. COCO stands for Coronavirus Communication, and it's your hub for getting helpful, truthful information to the world. COVID-19 is a virus. It travels from one person to another. It spreads like a, well, like a virus. You know what else spreads from one person to another? Information. When everyone shares an idea, what do we call it? going viral, or in this case, antiviral. When we share good information, we slow the spread of the virus and we speed the spread of helpful, truthful information. And this acts like a magnet that attracts even more people. Our mission is to get these messages to spread faster than the virus. Coco is a messaging toolkit with ready-made tweets images, and even memes that you're free to use, remix, and share. Get creative. Good communication is how we band together as humans. We're one human species, and if we work together, we will win. Working together, we can literally save the world. So spread the word, not the germ. Coco. Ladies and gentlemen, our ukulele player. Thank you very much. He'll be performing uh, nowhere for the next three to five months. So that's what we produced uh, was Coco, this website at coco.mediashower.com. And uh, what we realized very quickly is that in this time, uh, it's kind of the great equalizer. So if you've seen all of these talk show hosts or SNL that are all being broadcast from home, you realize like Jimmy Fallon's in his den. I have a den. We're all just people. Take away the studio audience, take away the band, and you realize like these are just moderately funny people like you and me who happen to have a show. My friend said it's like the veil has been lifted. So what we started to do with Coco was build social proof. And as a blockchain enthusiast, this is how blockchains grow, is when you see other people repeating a message, you're more likely to repeat it yourself. So what we're trying to do is get all these people of all different diverse backgrounds to give these messages, which we've been filming and putting onto the Coco website. And here's some of the results. In just six weeks, we already have 25,000 mentions of our Coco hashtags, reaching a total of 150 million people. So to be clear, the hashtags have been repeated 25,000 times with a total reach or audience of 150 million people. So when you see these hashtags like new normal or slow the spread, uh, or Together Apart, or Coco, those are Coco hashtags. Please help us spread them. And what we've learned is very interesting. First of all, you got to have a big, bold truth. So when you're sharing a message, whether that's about blockchain, about digital currency, or about something else you're passionate about, you've got to have a big, bold truth, like information is the antivirus. You gotta think like a virus. So you have to use hashtags, you have to use memes, you have to plug into the human hive mind. You gotta be radically transparent about what you're doing, just like I'm doing right here. You gotta be scrupulously honest. You have to show that what you're doing is trustworthy. And you have to be in it for the long haul. The truth takes time. So this is how you can help us spread the word. First of all, just talk about it. <laughs> just tell other people what we're doing. You can also tweet. You can do what we call a cocoa, which is a small kindness for someone else. 
where you can shoot a video on the website, coco.mediashower.com. We've got video scripts that you can read, shoot a video. It doesn't have to be fancy, no hair or makeup, and you can send it right over to us, coco.mediashower.com. Spread the word, not the germ. Coco. Coco. That was great, John. That was really, I did not see the ukulele coming. Oh, Travis has his. <laughs> that was beautiful, man. I tell you, that was that. I was laughing so hard when you said ukulele. Poof! And then you come, comes the ukulele guy. You, I ukulele, have, if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> I have him on call at all time. Whenever I just feel the urge, ukulele. Well, I want to show you something. Let me do a quick share screen because while you are encouraging people to uh to share i went ahead and tweeted out this oh thank you so that's, so, that's so all we need I to do set the example right there you guys go tweet or retweet me at joel com or uh, make your videos or whatever it is that you feel led to do to support this worthy effort thank you so much appreciate it Hey, uh, John, we appreciate you. Go ahead and pimp your book for a moment behind you. Pick it up, <laughs> tell people, because it's a really good book and great um, entry level or intermediate. Thank you so much. This is uh, my book called Blockchain for Everyone. It's available on Amazon and also a fantastic audio book uh, on audible.com as well. Uh, How I Learned the Secrets of the New Millionaire Class and You Can Too. This is the true life story of going through the great dot com, I'm sorry, the great blockchain boom of 2017, and then the great blockchain crash of 2018, how we survived, how we made it through, and all the lessons we learned. And they're lessons that are relevant to this time because once you've been through the whole blockchain roller coaster, like I have, and like Joel has, and like Travis has, a global pandemic is nothing. Am I right? Like a global pandemic is cake. This is easy compared to what we've all been through. And this book is your Bible for how to survive, how to do it. And you'll learn something about blockchain along the way. The very right good, very, reverend. very humble introduction about your book there. Very nice. <laughs> he is the right reverend, Sir John Hargrave. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. We love you, John. I mean, Sir John, you're an amazing guy. Thank you so much for being part of this. Hey. Um, I, you know, I had to step out at the very beginning. Did you, did you explain where the sir came from, how you're knighted? Yeah, it's a funny story. So in my first book, which was a humor book, a book of pranks, it was called Prank the Monkey. And I went after the largest targets I could find, like the uh, U.S. Senate uh, and uh, Bono and uh, the Queen of England. I went after the Queen and I said, Your Majesty, I would like to be knighted. I wrote a, a letter to Buckingham Palace because I just thought Sir John Hargrave would be classier. <laughs> I heard that you get 10% off at participating Denny's. <laughs> so the queen wrote me back. She actually said, well, you have to do something honorable. And I said, that's mm. a lot of work. So uh, I went to my local county courthouse and I paid a name change fee. I went before a judge, paid $35. And lo and behold, here I am today, Sir John Hargrave. <laughs> That's, That's way awesome. easier than doing something noble. Yeah. It sure is. And then look at me now doing this global cocoa effort. Oh my. So despite it all, I'm still going to end up doing something noble and getting the legitimate knighthood. Hmm. Oh. Well, we, we believe for you, good friend. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us tonight, for delivering content, for inspiring, and for a little music. Nobody else brought music, so we appreciate that. Guys, thanks for all the work you do, and congrats on such an amazing event. Thanks, buddy. Take care.